Hey everyone, Malcolm here from Malcolm Scott Photography. Today we're going to be talking about the A6400 that I recently purchased and a few accessories that I bought to go along with it. I recently purchased a new A6400 and I think there's a few little things that can be added to make this a great camera for video. First thing, A6400 small rig cage, cold shoe adapters to relocate the microphone mount, and some screen protectors. Let's open these up and see what we got. First one is going to be the A6400 small rig cage. got a small screw and a hex key tool and the cage itself next up it didn't cut very good did it these are the cold shoe adapter mounts for the small rig, a pair of them, that will allow me to remove the microphone to the left side so that way when it's mounted on my Ronin S it'll clear all the arms and have full functionality of the Ronin. The kit comes with two of them and hardware to get them installed. Last thing I wanted to get for the 6400 was a screen protector. Every camera I've had so far has had one put on it and this one's going to be a bit of a workhorse for me so I want it to be screen protected. I, I chose these aftermarket Glass Pro uh, screen protectors. There's two of them in here or at least that's what Amazon told me. The description told me was there's two Come on. Full kit. Put these on the screen. I've, I've read that the Sony one's a lot better quality, but these will work for half the price. Plus, there's two of them in here. Let's get the cage mounted up to the 6400. All right, I got everything here ready to to mount onto the 6400. Um, look at the quality of the small rig. I'd say it's you know good quality. I had one on my A6000. This new cage from Small Rig gives you an actual little thumb screw um, screwdriver, thumb screw screwdriver that you can tighten onto the body there. It has a, a magnetic attachment just. It seems like it'd be plenty strong to keep it in place. Um, you know, it'd be probably pretty hard to knock out. It's, it's well recessed and hidden underneath it. <clears throat> Another improvement I see that I think will help a lot is the contour, the way this is curved for your hand um, compared to the other cage that I had for the 6000. Okay, let's get it mounted up to the camera. First thing you want to do is go ahead and pull the lens off and get a body cap on it. Let's go ahead and set this thing in here. Oh, actually, you know what? The first thing we want to do is remove our little hooks from the camera. This side actually screw attaches in on the eyelet here to here with that one small screw and they give you a slot here for the strap but I don't see one on the other side so it looks like you might have to leave that one in place let's go ahead and get that apart I've 
never had to take these things off before, so we'll see how they actually, actually do work or not. Doesn't look like it would unsnap, but it actually does. It's just a matter of like a keychain getting this thing off the eyelet. Okay. Now, since I don't plan on running a neck strap on this very often, I'm going to go ahead and remove this side as well. Just keep the noise. You don't want that rattling around. Yeah. Yeah, it's much easier just to go ahead and pry it right off over the edge. any kind of Loctite or anything on this screw head. I'm going to snug that one up. Go back to lock down our main tripod mount. So this is good and tight. All right. I can already tell you, just with my large hands, that this has a much better, much better grip. I thought about getting the wood handle grip as well. I could definitely see that being a benefit. Uh, maybe something I add here in the future. Looks like it has really good protection on the on the body though. Already I see a problem I my little finger wants to find the find the little screwdriver where it just naturally sits and I don't know if I'll be able to pump it off or not. But so far I can't it seems like I'm and I'm actually trying to. Alright, let's put the first cold shoe mount on. But primarily this one for the left side because I'm going to be mounting this on my Ronin S. I wanted to get the the cold shoe put on the left side here. Looks like there's a single screw of this one. If you use it on the right side it looks like you can have an actual the little screws or the large one but it doesn't keep that open there 
go ahead and put this in. Uh, so they give you a couple different mount options. They give you one where you can put it on the left, which still be interfering with the screen. I'll put it right here on the very top. Go forward with it. Okay, let's try to fit this with the microphone. Alright, since I only have the one microphone and it was being used to record this video, I will be on the internal mic for a moment. Mount this there like so. door is well protected on this cage here when it's installed. And we'll get that plugged in there. And we can flip the screen around without any interference to that. And there we go. It'd be real easy to hold a, to even just attach a, a, um, a hand grip to this to hold away or vlog with. It'd be much, much easier. Um, I do see a little bit where the screen looks like it would be interfere. Uh, this, the cage kind of interferes with your screen vision, um, depending how you're holding it. You definitely see framing, but you, you lose your your shutter and your f-stop and your um, ISO is still blocked by the viewfinder. But very solid setup right there. It feels feels real good. Last thing I want to install is the glass screen protector. It's at a hardness level of 9H. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm not going to go through a scratch test, but get my screen cleaned up here. I've only used this camera a couple of times so far. I use these uh, Zeiss wipes by Hunter Room. Five dollars at uh, Walmart. We use them for our cam. Use them for our glass, our, our glasses and cameras. So this kit comes with a, a wet wipe and then a dry wipe, two times. And then each screen protector. It looks like they give you some guide stickers to do this with. There's a dust absorber sticker and. Uh, guide sticker. I've used these before like and they set pretty well with it. Okay, we're gonna save this one for another day for another screen. Start with one, the wet wipe. It's a pretty small little guy. Let's 
slide this out of the cover it comes in. Okay. So the protective film is on the sticker side of the glass. We're going to set this down on there and try to line it up. We're going to find a spot we want to have it at real quick. Okay. Now we're going to take our guide stickers. And we want to Put it on the glass. Okay. That's the first one. And the second. Do one last check of our center. It doesn't have quite full coverage of the screen, but it's pretty close. Go ahead and wrap that one around. Wrap this one around. Pull the screen back, get it underneath there. Okay, what that does is it locks that onto there in a position. So now we can flip it over and lay it once uh, we pull the film off. Okay, we're gonna take one last dab with this duster. So there's nothing on that screen. Is the little guide stickers came off. So let's just get it on there. stickers aren't very strong in this as you can see it just uh, when I folded it back it just it lifted right off the guide stickers so those were about worthless but it's a small enough screen it looks like we got it centered up pretty well I'm happy with it you go to the right just a little bit but it's sealed up all the way around and you can watch it travel across the screen as it uh, set There we go. There we have it. All right, now that they've got the 6400 mounted in the small rig, the accessory shoe adapter it installed, and the screen protector put on, we're gonna take this thing out, see how it how handles. So far, I'm really liking it. It uh, it just it gives that camera the feel that you just from my my big hand, it really fits it well. Um, I am going to probably add the wood grip just because I can see that little bit of a, a gap in there. I really like it. Feels good. Fits the camera body really well. And I'd show it to you with the mic, but I'm using my only microphone on the camera uh, on my R2 filming this right now. Quick recap of all the, all the things I've noticed with it. It gives perfect protection for the, the, the door for the microphone jack and the HDMI outputs, USB ports. The fit of the cage is, is really well. It hugs the camera perfectly. The threaded screw adjust, adjustment with the included thumb screw uh, tool, it's handy. It's right there. I don't think you're going to lose it, honestly. I think it's going to stick stick right to where it belongs. Um, the additional mount up top right here really secures the camera. We have a strap loop here as well as on the bottom, so we could, I guess, still strap it 
from a single point right there or from dual point sorry we could still strap it from both ends right there really is nowhere good to strap it on this side um, I've took off the the ring hook just to keep it from rattling I also moved this back from the um, the forward hole there's a second hole right behind it on the center screw that moved it back it makes it flush in the front a little bit cleaner uh, less jagged I'm not overall happy with how these fit it's secure it's not going nowhere it just kind of it's added on I know there's other cages out there with the built-in accessory shoes over here um, and on this side they have the adapters that run off the hot shoe plate I wasn't too keen on any of those uh, when I was looking at it I wanted the full cage um, the main thing is I need it on the left side on this side to fit and clear on the gimbal if you found this video useful, hit that like button, subscribe, and if you have any questions about the, the, the cage, the accessory mount, or the screen, or the 6400 in general, leave them in the comments below. Look forward to hearing from you, and I'll see you next time.